Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 4 again he said unto me prophesy unto these bones and say unto them O ye dry bones hear the word of the Lord I want to start off by saying call halal la yahweh bashimi hawashai which means all praises to the father yahweh in the name of the son yahweh shai I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone salutations to all the lords hold for elect scattered abroad teaching this word is sincerity and truth all right i'm the brother ties of war and uh back at you again with another show uh it's about 8 38 in the morning today's uh what tuesday and uh this is the month of may uh, i believe today's date is the what not sure um but anyway um this is ezekiel chapter 37 and 1 the hand of the Lord Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of dry bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there was very many in the open valley and lo there were very dry and these dry bones all right they represent the Israelites that are asleep okay you know, you have our people, which are the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians. You are the Hebrew Israelites, and you've been asleep for a long time. All right, the Most High have taken his name away. He's taken that your inheritance. You know, he's uh, taken, taken out, you know, who, he's taken out who you truly was, or who you truly are. But, in the same token, the Lord is also, all right, because we're in those times where he's blowing his breath upon the dry bones through his word. So that means that a particular few, which is the election of the Lord, are going to wake up to this truth. And you're going to receive your identity. You're going to receive the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right, so that what? You can be delivered from the said perils that's coming upon this world, all right? Because you are the starting point that the Lord chose, all right, to refresh the earth with. You are those right seeds, and I'm talking to the men, because the Lord said, the tabernacle of the Lord is with men. So men are first. And the men, you know, is the ones that basically create the nations, man, okay? Because we carry seed. So the Most High have made us a, a, a seed in itself. And when we're planted, crops grow. All right? But this time, when the Lord plant the seeds with the elect, all will be made perfect that come from that seed. And that's the Hebrew Israelites. So on this side, those that don't wake up, which are still the dry bones, all right? You're going to see a grievous death. You know, and there's reasons behind that because it's things that you've done in your past life and it's things that you're doing in this life, all right? And because why? You reject the word of the Lord, all right? It says, um, Ezekiel 37 and 2, And he caused me to pass them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, there were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord Yahweh, power thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesize unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. So it's all about hearing the word of the Lord. Mm. And that's why the word of the Lord have taken this, taken its power, taken its control over the unicorn, man. Alright? Over the internet of things. All right, and this is why YouTube, which is a major platform, all right, for uh, this word, and there's other uh, media sources, uh, Daily Motions, uh, you know, brothers do things on Instagram, uh, Facebook, you know, it's surface, but what, what, what has a beginning always has an end. And right now we're witnessing the end of hearing the word of the Lord. All right, you still can hear it as you hear in this video, 
but soon it's gonna be an end. All right, it's gonna be an end. You know, Esau, he don't like this word being put out. He don't want our people to know who they are. He wants to make those dry bones dry again. All right, but the Lord blew his breath upon these dry bones and these are the elect. The scriptures tell us that we were made to reprove his thoughts. All right, we count him as counterfeits. All right, imposters, cave dwellers. All right, it says, again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. And that breath is the word. That breath is Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, I like to imagine it, you know, it's it's a uh, a form of uh, an awakening. You know, it's a, it's a, when that Lord blow that breath upon you, them spirits, they open up your mind. They, they open up your pineal gland, which Esau wants to calcify. He wants to, you know, detach you from your spirituality. All right. And that's why it's a very good thing to live off nature and to be more spiritual so you can be one. All right. One with yourself and one with our power. But in order to do that, you have to believe in Yahweh Shai. You have to understand, you have to have the understanding, and most importantly, the Heavenly Father Himself, Yahweh, has to bless you with faith. Because it, it, it reads Ephesians 2 and 8 that faith is a gift from the Most High. All right? So it's not up to you that willeth, it's up to him that calleth, okay? It's his choice and who he choose. And this is why you have certain individuals that are woke right now, speaking his word, teaching, and pushing forth this gospel all the way to the end, man. All right? Through the good, through the bad, through the tough times, and through these evil times, man. Because this work gotta go out, the Lord's word has to go out. It has to. All right? It has to play its course. All right? Just like anything else, it has to play its course. Just like um, here in America, we have four seasons. Summer, winter, spring, fall. That has to play its course. It has to come a time when it's hot. It has to come a time when it's cold. It has to come a time when it's fall. It has to come a time when it's spring. So the Most High have threw his word into the mix this go around and his word is seasonal all right because eventually the season will stop it will end and it'll begin the beginning all right which is jacob all right our kingdom is everlasting and our kingdom is it has just just begun by the men and who the Lord set up and blew his breath upon standing upon their feet so this is not the end of Jacob this is the beginning this is the end of Esau it says verse 5 thus saith the Lord Yahweh power unto these bones behold I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live and I will lay sinews upon you and will bring you up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. All right. So through this word of the Lord, we're going to be clothed upon. All right. Clothed upon with the spiritual word and then physically with the with, with the body that makes us perfect with the most high that take out the stony heart of out of our flesh and that makes us one with Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. I'm going to read again and I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So we're going to know, all right? Who is the Heavenly Father 
and who is he for, all right? Who is his people and who he have chosen? Because when the Most High, all right, clothed us with our spiritual bodies, the world is gonna know who the Lord is for, man. And the world sees it now because he has given us what? His riches, man. He have passed down riches unto us that no man can take away. You see? So the Lord is gonna receive his glory. The glory of the Lord is gonna be shown throughout all the earth. And every man, every creature shall bow to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse seven. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and behold a shaking and the bones came together bone to its bone and when i beheld lo the sinews and the flesh came up upon them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them then said he unto me prophesy unto the wind prophesy son of man and say to the wind thus saith the lord yahweh come from the four winds O breath and breathe upon these slain that they may live so I prophesied as I commanded as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army so you see you're witnessing all right you're witnessing the foot soldiers, the army of the most high risen here in the earth, man. You know, we love to say, you know, Esau has his army, right? Well, the heavenly father also has his army as well. Okay? And his army is is, is uh is power. Alright? Because he has given his power to the prince. And who are the prince? The elected Israelites in this time. All right. You know, all of Israel with the men. All right. Because the house of the Lord starts with the tabernacle of the Lord. All right. Is with men. So the men are the prince. But the true prince, as being awoken and born, and the Lord blew his breath upon, it will be the election, the 144,000. All right. So with that being said, let me read again. It says, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say unto the wind, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. All right? So the army in which the Lord is establishing, all right, is the footmen, the 144,000. Which, which which are prophets all right because it tells you in jeremiah 16 16 that he will send forth fishes and they will fish which is of men all right which is of recruit who the lord have given his word to and blew his breath upon and these men were going to fish but then afterward they will be turned to hunters and they shall hunt them whole they shall hunt them from their holes all right and i'm roughly paraphrasing that but because you know in a nutshell let me say it like this the fishes of the lord will also be turned to the hunters for the lord all right and who we're we gonna hunt we're gonna hunt the enemy okay the lord said he will make his men all right like a battle axe and a weapon of war okay he says some shall have wings as eagles and fly run and not be weary so the lord is truly awakening his army you know and um like i said um you know we love to say you know esau has his army but the most high's army is more powerful all right and uh you know he has his air force the most high has his air force which are the angels the chariots all right that fly in the heavens that swing low Mosai has his footmen, which are the elect, the men who he have chosen. Alright? 
the Most High has his navy, which is Leviathan, all right? Which the Most High made in abundance. So it's not just one, it's many. And he's gonna awaken Leviathan to fight in the World War III, all right? Against Esau's army, all right? He is the God of the water, all right? Indestructible, never defeated, all right? So the Most High has his army, and his army is awakening, man. It says, so I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dry, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy, say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, O my people. Notice he said, O my people. I will open, my, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And this is a spiritual calling. Because Israel is being woken out of our graves. Right now, our people are dead. Straight up, man. Social media addicts, attention seekers, junkies. All right? Mumble rap bastards. Jake is dead. And the only ones that's being waken out of their graves is the elect of Israel. All right? That's waking up to this truth. I'm going to read again. Verse 12. Therefore prophesy, say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves and shall put my spirit in you and ye shall live and I and I shall place you in your own land then shall ye know that I you stress that then shall ye know that I the Lord Yahweh have spoken it and performed it saith the Lord Yahweh all right Let's read this next part. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 15. The world, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it. For Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions, then take another stick and write upon it. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions all right so what is this saying he's telling ezekiel to to basically go get you a board right upon it the tribes and put judah and his companions which is judah benjamin levi and he said also join unto that stick that board right that stick put Eph put joseph which is the stick of Ephraim, because Joseph is interchangeable with Ephraim, all right? And his companions, which are the 10 tribes, man, or the nine tribes, all right? Which are the Northern Kingdom. So now you have the Southern Kingdom and the Northern Kingdom put back together. And that's why the Lord told Ezekiel to do that. This is why it's very important when we was taught by our apostles that when we teach, we have to have that board out there, you know, because the Lord told Ezekiel to do it. And we're just, and, and it says also, Ezekiel is an example unto us, all right? Because it's about the joining back, the coming back, the reconciling of the Israelites, the true Israelites, all right? Which are the 12 tribes. Verse 17, and join them one to another and to one stick and they shall become one in thy hand. So the Most High is making one of us. 
Yeah, we're different families of different of, of, a, of another tribe, but we are of the same family. All right, meaning Yasha Allah, Prince of the Power. All right, E Prince Power, meaning we're one family, but we're from different tribes. But we're all the same. We have the same nationality. All right. Verse 18. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in thy hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make the one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. And the sticks hereon thou writest shall be in thy hand before their eyes. You know, and this was reminding me of um, the scripture where the Lord said he been Judah uh, with Ephraim. You know, basically that race war. The Most High is going to bind you Israelites together and to make you one fist against your enemies all right verse 20 and the stick where whereon thou writest shall be in thy hand before their eyes and say unto them thus saith the lord yahweh behold i will take the children of israel from among the heathen let me read again thus saith the lord yahweh behold i will take the children of israel from among the heathen whether they be gone and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel and one king shall be king to them all and they shall no more to they shall no more two nations Neither shall there be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Yahweh Shai is coming. <laughs>